Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here. Today we're doing a quick unboxing of the Microsoft Surface Book. Now, this just came out today and it retails for $1,500. And this is it right here. This is the base model because it does go all the way up to a little bit over $3,000. And this guy right here has 128 gigabytes of storage, a core Intel i5 processor, and 8 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. There's a little tab right here on the front and uh, this just pops off like that. And then we take off the cover to reveal the actual Surface Book. And then here we have a little box with the uh, cable to charge the device. So let's go ahead and pull out the book itself. Now this does weigh around like 3.3 pounds and it's almost twice as much as the Surface Pro 4. So weight is definitely something to keep in mind when you're buying this guy here. Now we of course are also gonna get the Surface Pen right here so that you can, you know, jot some notes down and draw on the screen, which is really nice. And then we're gonna have a booklet right here with all your manuals and how to get started guides and things like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and remove the plastic film here. All right guys, so here is the Surface Book. Now first impressions, it does actually feel really nice. This magnesium body feels really nice and cool to the touch. You of course have the Windows logo right here an eight megapixel camera here on the back that records 1080p, your microphone's right there. And then on the back here, we just got a Microsoft logo along with a little bar here and here so that you don't scratch the bottom of the laptop. We of course get the hinge right here, which is what all the buzz is because this allows you to you know, maneuver this and kind of open it up and it stays where it's at and you can also remove the screen. Now let's go ahead and take this off. This is actually a very nice material here. It's nicer than what I've seen before. It's kind of like a piece of foam. But uh, here is the full size keyboard there. And you can see everything's very clean. It's kind of like a grayish color. It's definitely not white. And it all just kind of looks really nice. It all looks like aluminum here, but of course the keys are plastic. And uh, the trackpad has a really nice click to it, but it all looks good. It does have a 13.5 inch display here, which is kind of squarish. So it's gonna be really good for mobile browsing but it's not gonna be great for media and things like that. So if you've seen the Chromebook Pixel, it's kind of like that. So you can see that the computer is a little bit taller than most in the market right now. But of course, you know, it's removable from here. I don't know if the computer has to be on for it to be removable, but yes, no, it doesn't. It does, yes, you do have to have the computer on. All right, but yeah, let's go ahead and boot up this computer right here so we can see how long it's gonna take up to boot. But uh, it does have the volume buttons right here and also the sleep and wake and power on button right there. And of course it has a power on button right here because this all detaches and it becomes kind of like a, a tablet or a surface. Now the keyboard does feel very nice. It uh, of course is plasticky, but it is very nice and clicky. It's of course backlit and you can kind of see that there. The keyboard is a very kind of uh, dark grayish color. It's almost leaning towards white, but almost leaning towards gray. And it's the same color as the magnesium body on the laptop, so it looks pretty good. Now here we have the Windows installation, and that was pretty quick. And of course, you should expect this laptop to be quick since all the storage is SSD. All right guys, so here we have the Surface Book all set up and ready to go. Now I did take some time for all this because you actually can't remove the screen from the base without the battery being charged to at least 10% or something like that. So I had to charge this guy. Now something to keep in mind is that there's actually a battery in the keyboard and also a battery on this guy right here. So when you're charging the keyboard, it's actually charging both devices. But uh, once you remove it here with this button right here, which you hold down, then you hear the mechanism go, then you know it's ready to go. Or when you get a pop-up on the screen, which we didn't get. And here's the problem that I've had a number of times. Either one of them gets stuck or they both don't go and then there's a mechanism failure. So I click it again, there we go. Now it's ready to go. And I don't know if I'm probably doing something wrong here or if it just doesn't work that often and uh, it's having some issues, but uh, we'll see. So the tablet itself here, when it's removed, it's extremely light. Like this thing is, it feels lighter than the Surface Pro 4. That's mainly because it's spread out over such a huge surface area. But uh, this thing right here is very light and it's still quite powerful. So of course, if you get the more expensive models, you're actually gonna get a dedicated graphics card inside the keyboard here. So when you connect it, you can use that. And here we actually have the pin. So this is right here is the charging pin. I believe these two are for the other things, but uh, or unless they're all for charging, I'm not actually 100% sure. 
But we, of course, once we release that, we get the charging port at the bottom of the surface or at the bottom of the actual tablet here. So you can connect the charger right there directly to the tablet. We have the mechanisms there. On the left side, we don't have anything. On the top of the tablet here, we do have the volume up and volume down along with the lock and unlock. And also that's also the power button. And then on the right side, we do have a headphone jack. So you got those buttons right there or those ports on the tablet. And then on the keyboard, you're actually going to get two USBs and also an SD card right here on the left hand side. And then on the other side, we're gonna get where you charge it and then also a mini display port right there. So that's where you're gonna get the bottom of the keyboard here does have some rubber grips. That way you don't scratch the bottom when you move it around. And this by itself is quite heavy. It's almost as heavy as the tablet itself. But that's pretty much it to this. I am gonna be comparing this to the Surface Pro 4 and uh, seeing which one's worth it. Of course, this is much more expensive than the other guy. And of course, it's also a whole lot bigger. Just to get an idea of how big this guy is, here is the 12 inch MacBook that I use for school. And uh, just so you can see the difference, this thing is massive. I mean, it's huge. And of course the hinge you got right there, you got that gap, which I actually really don't like. I think it just kind of, I mean, it doesn't look bad because the surface just, you know, it has that really cool color and everything, but uh, that's definitely something they gotta get rid of in the second one, especially since dust and stuff can get collected in there. But you can see the mechanism, how well that works. And uh, it just kind of unfolds like that. Now another thing I wanted to note is that this thing is really top heavy, so like the this almost weighs you know as much if not a little bit more than the keyboard or vice versa. So since this isn't heavier, much heavier than the screen, you're gonna get this really weird opening, and then also it's gonna wobble quite a bit up here. So it's not gonna be a big problem, I don't think. But we're gonna go ahead and see in the review. But I'm gonna go ahead and try these guys. If you guys have any questions, then feel free to comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But aside from that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.